All right, let's see if we can get to the end. Third time to the end, lucky. Um, so... Start with a 1-1 one, one vent crawler. And some other red cards. We could do... What does this give us? I have no idea. Does the second one give us those cards? How do we know? Because it doesn't say how you get it. Because what I'm thinking of is these guys. Infest. Various effects. Devoted themselves to nomads willing to talk despite the cost. I guess this is just a random... I guess we could have these cards whenever we... Because they're not part of the main deck. So if we just pick these, we can find all cards, but that's a bit rarer. I don't know. Maybe we go the burden, one less burden again, and then we go reds and see if we can intertwine them or something. I don't know. Last time we got big burdens, whereas when we played with the green guy, we didn't get any big burdens. All right. This means we got the ladybug to start with. But we can't attack straight away, which is pretty tricky. So we're going to swarm them. That's what we're going to do. 100%. All right, we'll see how we go. Okay, so two, two. You may as well just get this out. Or we could do one of those, one of those. So he's going to bite for two. Each turn. So putting the two, two out, probably not the best, but. Maybe we should have put them out. But then, yeah. Yeah, not sure. Then swipe, he'll do one damage to everyone. Tricky. We could do a one and then a two. Store two life for every time I've been struck in battle. If the number of strikes has reached 16, I will die instead of healing one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We we'll do a, uh, swipes coming for a, not coming for a while. Do we try and overwhelm him with damage? Hmm. 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 Backbite now as well. Gee. We just got to get this up to... 16. We could summon two. And the next one we can do that. Bam, 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 bam. Helps us out a lot. Then we got swipe coming in. Next turn. We're not gonna be able to kill him, are we? I hope this is working. Then just having a big boy in there doing damage. Okay, the swipe's coming in. This will stop the swipe from hitting. So he'll just take one damage. He won't die. This one will. Can't do much about that. All right. The 10. He heals all the way up, man. Okay. The only way you kill this guy is by doing this. It's a pity about that at the front going down. 
put him in the middle. We're nearly there. This guy's going to die next turn. What do we need? Another couple. Alright. We'll put this at the back so we can take a hit. And then we're going to get swiped next turn. One more. close so no strike 16 I will die instead of healing okay done see you later or is he gonna die next turn snake blood all right that was good no life lost at the start of the game, draw me on turn, reduce my cost. This was amazing. But we probably should maybe try something else. If it's a spell, draw another. If it's a creature, summon a charging bear. Is it good enough? Like, it's only a 2-2. Two -two. This is okay, but you have to wait until the long game. Can we get anything to do with swarms? Dominate three, charge, play. Give me plus three attack this round, rally. So does he have to kill three? Power but dominate, randomly kill your own creatures before ending play. Love to show off their strength. Charge, play. Give me plus three attack this round, rally. You can attack again this round. Isn't he, isn't he just amazing? As long as you don't have to... Do you have to have three? Maybe you have to have three. When a creature dies, deal one damage to the enemy. Your units with seven or more attack gain fearless. If they are already fearless, they gain double the effect. How many... What was that What was that guy we just took? 7-7. Seven, seven. Maybe. There wouldn't be many that have 7, though. If we're doing a swarm deck, then maybe this. We'll do this. And we'll try and do a swarm deck. Quite like, like the 7 attack things, though. All right, so what do we got? Bite straight away. Is bite two? It's probably probably two damage, but if it's not, then that guy first. And it's two damage. Fine, fine. We can play two if we wanted to. And this guy could die, and then we get two. We got Ram coming very soon as well, though. Oh, whoops. I didn't. That was silly. We got. Okay. Yeah, that was so stupid. Okay. So Ram's coming next turn, but they ram into me as well. I don't think I, I don't think I care. I'm gonna try and take zero damage. They'll ram into each other and doing damage. He's gonna ram into me at the moment. We'll just summon two. Plus he'll get three damage. Then we got bite. Now we get a five five.
And then he can round into a 2-2 two, two and might survive. But then we got the backbite or something. Deal 2 damage, do 2. Okay. Then Ram's next. He's close to dead though already. Wait, what? Oh, the Ram's this turn? Damn. Oh, he was going to Ram into me though, wasn't he? Alright, so then these are free, they won't get attacked. Yeah, okay. Okay. What are you doing? Four damage next turn. So this guy can't be played unless there's three. Okay. And he has not a 7-7, seven, seven, so it wouldn't have helped anyway. So that's three, four, five, six. We've got him. Because you're going to kill kill them. Oh, this guy's not dead. Well, doesn't matter because you're dead now, mate. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Summon your next spell. This turn will double cast. Yes, that's good. Play sap an enemy ability and refill six of your mana. Okay. Stun an enemy ability is pretty damn good. Pretty crazy. If it's one of those big abilities, summon. Your next spell this turn casts double. Do I have any? Can we not look at our... Are uh, cards? That's pretty harsh. I've got that one card that, that does the two minions. <laughs> Stun and sap. We're trying to swarm, though. Maybe we'll go the double spell cast. This could be very useful, though. We'll take it. All right, so now we can get food to take food, which is quite good. This one's you got to spend scarabs. So we'll, I think we'll do the food and take damage. Because we don't have to use it straight away. We took four life. Future. Your one damage, unlike other encounter strike, future happens before the creature deals damage. That's a pain. But we'll live through it. Actually, I should have put him maybe first. Just to take the damage, but... Definitely a, a tricky guy to take out. We have to remember it only hits the first one. But then it would hit the second one because... This is just doing damage to us all the time. Do I bring this guy in? I think I just do lots of minions. And then I play this next turn to do more damage. Do I just let him die this turn and then do more damage next turn? I think so. Every time I take this, I seem to have to use it straight away though. Okay, so I can get a 6-6. Six, six. We've got a Star Beam coming, so there's not any point. But he does attack twice. Probably worth it. But we can do it next turn. We can do it next turn. Let's 
get this guy out as well. Can I choose which creatures die? So this will do one damage to him, but only him. That's good. Alright. So then we can do this. We can even do this to not get hit this turn. Both of them are doing it, apparently. Okay. But we'll be doing dominate three, charge, play. Give me plus three attack this round, rally. You can attack again this turn. So six, seven, eight, nine. He's got 18 damage. Is that right? Let's have a look. So when I play him, do I pick? It randomly, randomly takes minions out. Okay. How do I attack twice? What? You can attack again this turn. I already used my attack this turn. Yeah, I know, but you have rally, mate. Maybe I have to attack with them at the start before anyone else. No, I don't think so. That's odd. I don't... Do I use this thing? I think I wait one turn. So what's up with this rally? I can take three hit points before I use this, I guess. Okay, spring, gain frontline, summon, gain charge, winter, summon, uh, Perithia, black death. Oh yeah. When it summons her, just when she's summoned, infest three. Okay, that's good. So we'd have to play three cards before we do the six. Then drawing cards would be quite good. Let's grab him. We're kind of building a different style. Choose your first draw each fight from four choices. We're not going to be able to do this like, nearly ever. I guess he gets one. Can I get another dude that does seven? Probably better than this. Because he does get seven on the first attack. I don't know why he can't rally cry though. Okay. Do two attacks to all attackers this time but we do one damage each time but it has to be two or more we need this guy out this guy's going to be fodder later we need some more lone but ladybugs that get put into our hand all right then this guy And then this guy. We can just get this guy out for later. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'll press in turn for you to go. Then he eats one and heals up by one. So... This means what? It's spring instantly? Season cards and bonus effects. Spring activates if this card is the first card played. Summer is second. And fall is third. And winter is fourth. So you'd have to do four cards? That's so tricky. Can we summon these two things? Let's 
so you might as well just attack with this guy. It's just slow and steady with this guy, yeah? It's just slow. Am I doing damage to him or not? Probably not. But now he's got gulp. He's just making it even harder for me. But I can remove gulp. I am doing damage, okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Slow and steady. That's a one, do you think? You want a quick? Oh, okay. So we can um, stun this. The problem with these fish is I can't play them beforehand. If I stun this and it gets sapped, then I can just play one of these. And I may as well play this as well. Then I can get this guy to charge next turn. This will do tons of damage here. Yeah? You can attack again this turn. Oh, okay, 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 I get you, I get you. So, what I do is I attack with these two. With this one. I think this is how it works. So he gets the buff before. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I play this. Now I can attack again. Does he hit me again? Oh, he doesn't even hit me again. That's interesting. And then next, yeah. Okay, I get you. 100%. Some, sometimes my mind just doesn't jump, does it? Okay, so charge would be good. So let's get two out. Wait, did I do that completely wrong? Oh yeah, that was the third card, Winter. Nothing happens. Good job, Adam. Luckily, he's dead anyway. So I need to play three cards before him. Summer, summon a lone, la lone ladybug. Fall, summon a lord bug. Winter summon a monarch. This would be good. But I need things that are going to actually proc it. Only shows me the one thing. Lord bug summons ladybugs. So summer, which is the first. No, spring is. So you have to play at least one to get a lone ladybug. And then three to do a lord bug. And then a monarch butterfly. Infesting two enemy abilities is pretty damn good. We'll try this. We're not we're not there yet at all. And we're getting close to the end. So the thing is we in the other deck, if you played uh green and green, you'd get these ladybugs at a zero, which you could store in your hand. Okay, deal one damage. This cre kills a creature. I gain three life and increase stomach content by that. Or else he does nothing to us. If stomach is less than three, deal six overkill. And deal two damage to all attackers when they attack you. Or else he's going to... For this turn, if I don't play anything... This will go down to three, and then it'll start hitting me for six damage. 
I could play this first. But I'm getting hit for this damage, am I? Okay. Harsh. Pretty harsh. So this stays the same. So nothing dies this turn. And then this goes down by one or two. One. Okay. And so summoning two doesn't put this up to two, does it? This does to every minion, to all attackers. And when this is at 10 or more, it dies. We just give it food. All it wants is food. That's another two. And then we can get this down later. We can attack and then he'll swipe it, but that'll be, yeah, that'll be enough. We just attack it. And then we put these guys in. It's a very high number here though, but we'll deal with it later. That's a split even or something then. We can attack it to get it down a bit. We wait. Summer is... We can do the... Ch it's not going to be enough. We don't need damage. I think we get this guy out to start attacking a bit. Oh, he goes in the front. That's no good. Oh, well. That's okay. We can attack with it. And this. We could even just do this then. So this would do nine damage to him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Is that better? What what's his max life? Forty? About forty. So this guy. It just gets plus three attack. I know, because we've got this. He does way more. I think this is probably worth it. Sacrifice all them. And go for the kill at the end of the turn. Thirteen damage. Which 
This should be fine. Make a mistake and you're screwed. He's gone. Okay, so we've got some ladybugs. Summon two lone ladybugs. If we want to do these, how do we get... Uh, Because this summons two of these that we can sacrifice. If he doesn't attack. So that's more for sacrificing, not for casting these spells. But we can't just sit around waiting for lone ladybugs to be in our hand, enough of them. I'm going to grab this guy. Because I don't really think that's viable. You can't just sit there, oh, I'm going to wait until i got three ladybugs before I can cast this other spell, which is okay. We haven't used that other one yet. We could buy the other food instead, or we can try and get more scarabs. But I don't think you need more scarabs. We'll try and get that other dish. Quick snack. Just a quick little snack. It's all we need. Alright, so we've got these stinging swarms. So the more actual damage we do. That's what that's what counts. Alright. We always attack. What's this guy? Hungry. He's hungry. Do you want damage? This kills creature gain three life. Okay. But we can attack without consequences. And this guy's so strong that we might just um get both of these guys out. Now we've got another one which is long armed. Deal two damage. If this kills a creature, deal two to another creature. Okay. So we could play this dude. Counterattack. Damn. It would kill two of them, unfortunately. So I think we just do it right now. Oh, that's quite good, actually. Oh, it only does it once. Okay. Doesn't, like, pass it across. That's a pity. He is still going to be alive next turn, though, so that's good. Piercing. Deal one damage to you directly. That's annoying. All right. I don't know what... It takes off this one first. We attack with this first. I might just get this guy out. Oh, I should have put this guy first, actually. Alright, one damage to us. So we got light snacks. Angry. Deal two damage. Deal one damage if this kills a creature. Game one. Th okay. Th Summon a lone ladybug. We gotta get rid of these koi fish, don't we? Okay. Not a problem. We do this yet? Yeah, that's too much. In front line. Bam, bam, bam. Down you go. I've mind. 
Activate all your infest swarm effects, draw a card. Yeah, I'd love to, but... <sighs> None of these are really gone for what we need. How? What? I don't even know what I need. I need something that gives me cards in my hand to play later. One cost cards. Lose one attack. Frontline target. No. Damn, 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 damn. Um, I guess this is a small, big creature we can use. <coughs> All right. Um, we need, like, a burden that gives us cards. Can they move the rest of the enemy's turn the first time you hit 10 life? And again at 5 life. Oh, this is good. Because that will give us a zero cost card we can play. Okay. That's, that helps out a lot, actually. So then it's like, do I... I probably just wait. You can't just wait all the time. So this one needs winter. Summon a monarch butterfly. This does damage equal to this, and we only get one off each time we attack. We've got this. We've got a couple more ones in there. I don't know if it's damage done. We'll just do this one out. Thing is, you, you can't stay passive. You want damage to the time, and then... So there's a few... Things, yeah, okay, okay. So if I attack with this. Oh, full go. But I have nothing that charges. Um... But well, that works. Oh, and it goes down to zero with the hits as well. Okay, that's great. So we can play big things. So next turn, we can get this to the third, which is winter. No, four. So we can, we can get a bug lord. Oh, we got this as well. Is it is it cards played? Yes. Jeez, I feel like we should keep this to the boss at the end then. Because that helps us play more cards. We've got to draw more cards somehow. We'll play this for now. Ooh. So this will take away this lowest cost minion. These don't help us, so we could play this right now. Then we can get a Monarch Butterfly, whatever the heck that does. But we'd have to play all these three, because it needs to be the fourth. Alright, so this is transcending. Oh, it's got two attack now. This is going to go. Whoops. Should have attacked with both. Oh no, it goes down again. Okay. So if I... Can I add anything to this and still do nothing? No. Anything I add gives it one. Okay, so if I do zero, then it's got three things. 
Then I play that. No, then I play that. I wanted to play this. I don't think I do anything this turn. Hmm. Or maybe I just play the Monarch Butter. No. I played the Bug Lord this, this turn. White Void takes away everything. Let's just be calm. What's this one? Five damage, overkill? Okay. White Void's next turn. This gives it front line, so it could take the full amount of the damage. I think that's okay. Because we don't want to take too much damage. Okay. Oh, but he can't attack straight away, unfortunately. But it's alright. Alright, so then that gets killed. This is going to take this. Then white out next turn. Not a problem. And then next turn we go crazy. Because then we can get the, the big one. Let's see how this works. So this needs to be winter, which is the fourth card. So we just play one, two, three. So all we need is three here. So we could buff this up till it's a three cost. Like that. Wait, 17? Oh, yeah, because of the uh, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then she comes along in winter. Oh, it just turns into a one. And then it summons two Lord Bugs. Wow, okay. We're not attacking this turn, which is, seems to be okay. Breeze going up. Is that this turn? Oh, it is. Okay. So we can destroy that this turn. Not destroy it, but sap it. Stop the madness! This. So if I don't attack, I summon two other guys. Then we just got swarms of enemies. <laughs> but the problem is we don't have anything that's going to be small. Does he get damage for me losing that? No. So then I can randomly sacrifice something. 
<laughs> and does she summon them again? Oh, I can actually attack with everyone again. All right, we got some synergy going on now. Okay. All right. Should we grab this then? Is it worthwhile? Maybe. Should we take it? We've got the one, the zero. We've got a couple of ones. I'd rather another one of those flight uh, things. Or the fearless. The fearless is quite good because it does so much damage. We'll take a fearless. Okay. So why sometimes you just don't get anything? 25 damage twice. Oh, it's already done that, I think. Okay. All right, what do we got? Beggar's Bowl. A bowl of coins given to the capacity trader. This one takes a coin, does five damage to the first back row target, then loses one coin from the Beggar's Bowl. Can hit directly. This ability also triggers like normal dream turns. It's a counterattack thing. Okay. So we kind of had to play something. Whatever we play is going to die instantly. But we don't want to be taking five damage every time. We just want to be summoning lots of things, which we might be able to get down later. No effect on this beggar bolt is empty. Deal 13 damage. Also damages king or beggar by the same amount. Okay. Five damage is a lot. Can I stop something that doesn't have... Can I sap that? I guess I can sap that. Uh. So the other thing I could do is I can get this to be a five, five. What, a five? No, six. I need a six. So it's a three. Can I get seven? Right. So I could do a six here. So I could take the one hit. Back row target. Okay, okay, okay. So that's something else I could do. Is I could make... What? Is I could make... Um, you put this guy at the front. And then summon this guy. Okay. A lot of damage coming through. What does this thing do again? I've forgotten. Wait, what? The first back row target. What? What does it mean by back row target? Well, that sucked. Okay, we can summon two more. Uh, add one coin to the biggest ball, gain five life. Okay. So if I attack, it also does five damage. How am I going to kill him? Like, it said back row, so I, I, I presume that was the person at the end.
Okay, what now? What now? What now? I could stop this from working for one turn. I'm going to summon this thing. Does it stop working? It looks like it. Because then I can do this. And grab all these and attack with them. Oh, it's not working this turn either. And then summon this guy. Still not going to be enough damage, is it? Now the coins start up again. So now it's it now it's probably gonna be the back row if I attack now. Who's it gonna hit this time? First back row target. Well this damaged me because I'm at Maybe it hits me here. Let's see if it hits me. I don't know, it's just then we'll have to heal ourselves. He's not even attacking anymore. He's not even attacking. Was he stopped doing anything? I've just stunned it. I haven't completely nullified it. Wait, is it that powerful? I don't know if it's supposed to do that. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Alright. This is so powerful though that I might just take it twice. Not that it might, it probably won't do that every time. It might, but anyway. The spell, if it's a creature, do a charging bear. Do that. All right, what do we got? Burden? No. Tricky Hunter. So we haven't used that yet. Is there something that you just gain three health? I think there is. We're still four health. Because we don't need two feasts. All right, crumbling monument. Um, when falling below forty, destroy something. Counts. Pins a punch. Pins a punch for the first day of the month. Forgotten what that does. Let's get something out there. Your one to the left, right most. Okay, so both. It's gonna hit me. Okay. I mean, so this guy's pretty useful because he'll survive two hits. We can attack without repercussions. This just seems really good. And I need this to get to seven, but it's a three cost. So I can do that now, actually. But I need to give him a little bit of health. The so four cost might do that. So if we do this to seven, and then do this to two, three, two, wait, seven? Wait, is that jumping up? 
Or if I come off now. Yeah, okay. So we can do this at four. With two health, so we can last one turn and do a lot of damage. Wait. That's stuff up as well. Maybe he'll get it when he attacks. Not sure. Wait, this is going to happen right now? Well, damn. Oh, well, he's gone anyway. Fair enough. Who attacked all creatures? I think... This blows up that anyway, doesn't it? But obliterate's happening next turn, but he's dead next turn, so that should be fine. Okay, good, good, good. All right, all right, can we get there? Can we get there? Uh, inflict enemy ability, deal 12 damage, amount is 20% of the enemy's damage. This could be useful. Front line of target. It only costs one as well, so that could get useful. We'll take it. I don't know if that was a good idea. We could have got something way better, I guess. We're there. We're there, though. Do we get something right at the end? No, we're going straight to the ultra. Okay. I don't know if we're prepared. We're fighting someone we haven't even fought before, unfortunately. So we don't know what's going to happen. All right, read it and think about it. Okay, what the heck's going on here? Your opponent cannot control more than four creatures at once. That's a pain. Okay, eye for an eye. When your opponent plays a card that costs five or more mana, negate the activation of that card, then destroy this ability. Okay. Then we got Melt Mind, Hyper Star Beam. What the heck? All right, just, we're just playing a single minion. Don't don't go crazy. All right, Hyper Star Beam. This does it every turn. You have five damage, and it's gonna be three damage to me. Okay. Then we got all this other stuff happening. Well, just play a 2-2. Two, two. I guess so. I can attack without repercussions. Unfortunately, we could play this guy and this guy to get some good damage in. But he will die pretty quick after that. Unless we get the f we've got so many other things happening. Wait, you're giving me one of these things? Mount mine. Discard the lowest mana cost card from your opponent's hand. Huh. Um, summon a chosen of Kinest. Cannot be destroyed via domination. What? Oh, it can't be destroyed by dominate. Damn. Okay. All right, so we've got three now. I don't really want this to get killed, but I, I kind of need a heal as well, eh? We could restore six life now to gain a card that might be used. If it's that three cost card, we could potentially get it out here. This is a pain. Because I could play two cards and it could be the third card. Or do we just let one of these disappear?
This guy's gonna get take the hyper thing this next turn. Wait, oh geez, I thought that was too too high. We don't have many five cost. Okay. So one of these are dead. Looks like that one. Oh damn. Okay, so he comes into the front line, takes the star blast for this turn. That makes us take four damage. So then we can play this without worrying too much. Like, this is great damage. Okay, if we play this now... If we wait one turn... I think it's better if we wait one turn. What's this? Increase maximum life by seven. Oh, you bastard. Okay. We summon two minions here? I think so. But I should have attacked with them. Should have attacked with them. The big mistake there. Okay, we got this guy. So we could get lucky and get a double attack if we're really lucky. We could even kill him this turn if we're lucky. Oh! Good game, mate. We got him just like that. Just rely on luck, Adam. Woof. We had lots of backup kind of things as well. That was good. Acolyte's journey completed. Haru absorbed the offering of flesh. Probably not the best guy to uh, win <laughs> with all the fire and conquest. Oh no, we were green. At last, her siblings culled from every field and forest. No one was left to interfere with life and death. Pretty good outcome, I would say. There we go. Completed a journey. Thank you for making this game. Great game. Really, you have to really think about every turn. Yeah, that's enjoyable. I wonder what I, I wonder if we've unlocked anything as well, just to see what they do. Be quite interesting. Um, and definitely rogue like, because once you kind of figure out what some of the bosses do, you can kind of plan your your attacks right at the start, and then you can kind of figure out synergies as well with cards as you play through. And then when you play again, you can kind of figure out what you want to kind of go for. Are pretty cool and there seems to be quite a few different ways you can go with each of the different um uh like two gods that you pick or one god that you pick twice but i can i can you know you can already it's not gonna last forever once you've i guess if you really wanted to go crazy you could do every single synergy and do it and it, it can get harder with that lighten that fire i just think it's already pretty hard i don't know if you could try it and there's a little bit of luck involved and then if, if you you get unlucky right at the end a bit sour in the mouth but that's that's part of the games and we're not used to that anymore we're used to just getting uh more and more and more power-ups and stuff They're very, very cool. Let's see if we've unlocked any of those additions. Zuko, the pup. Thank you for playing. Not a problem. New game with an exclamation mark. So this might just give information as well. Okay, so it gives information. Hostile and pro pro 
Vintage of the Messenger. Scribe was a living device constructed by the Prophet of the Ruin for the Messenger who planned to use it to sp spread news of impending calamities. Imagine, imagine this coming to your place with a message. Jeez. How does he don't how does he not tip backwards? I guess these are pendulums. Uh, some had lost the ability to read the glyphs carefully and swiftly written by the scribe, but many more could and simply choose to ignore them. Okay. Interesting. So what's this? I don't know why there was an exclamation mark there. I don't know what this would do. Okay, okay. So we got a whole lot of these things. Gifts weigh one extra burden point. Okay. Current right level, best right level. Generosity. 40% less beetles. Okay. The weaker arcana abilities no longer appear. Well, that's harsh. You don't you never get that one cost right at the start. Rerolls cost two plus two more beetles. That could be doable. Because I feel like I've got lots of beetles. Your maximum life is reduced by five. Oof. We could have done that this round, I think. Start the run with no beetles. Okay. Beast have 25% more life. Yeah, tricky. Alright, I'll leave it there for now. They've got lots of stuff going on. Um, I don't know why there's an exclamation mark there. But maybe we'll work that out when I jump back in. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Grab it yourself and give it a go. It's pretty awesome. I've got the link in the description. And it is out now, I believe. So, um, thank you so much. If you could like the video, that would be amazing. Subscribe for more. Wipe fucking out.